All right then. Hi, it's me again. This time things have went a little far forward and now my previous tutorial is pretty much obsolete. We got two tools that install the skins for you so you don't have to mess with the hex code anymore. And making the skins themselves is actually quite easy and quite fun. So that's what I'm going to show you today. We're gonna make our own skin and we're going to install it into the game. So without further ado, here's what you need to do. <laughs> you need two things from the game, that's model and the base texture. So for that we are going to use Legion. Legion is an asset extractor. It's meant for Apex, but it works with Titanfall 2 as well. So that's cool. You need to load the file. And here you are in your Titanfall directory. That's under R2, the packs, Win64, and here you need to find the common common R pack. Open it, and that's pretty much well the whole armory of Titanfall 2 is. We're going to search for a gun. I'm going to put in a Kraber, and we're going to export it. Now it says loaded, so it's loaded. Double click it, export it. Got it exported. So now we go to the Legion's location. <clears throat> and here in exported files, we got materials, Kraber, and all the Kraber textures. So we are going to grab the two that we are into, or at least I need for my project. That's the color one and the illuminance one. So copy them and I put them onto the desktop. Remember the name, at least the first few distinguishable characters. So OX7 is Illuminance and OX6 is the color. Now that's cool. Now we need a model. Model is somewhere else. It's located in the modding itself. If you are not into modding, we need to unpack a VPK. I'm going to link you a tutorial how to do this. But once you get it, here's the MP common unpacked. And here we go to the models, weapons, and here all the guns are named very intuitively. For example, Kraber is not as Kraber or not as any type of sniper. No, it's as an AT rifle. It sounds like anti-titan rifle, which is a weapon in the game and that's not Kraber. But nevertheless, got the MDL file. We are interested in W underscore AT rifle. So bring up Legion again. This time click the Titanfall 2 button. It's an animation converter, a model animation converter. Drop the MDL here and nothing happens. Except of course it happens, just not as high profile. It's in the Legion directory again. Exp exported files, models, VAT rifle and lot zero SMD. SMD is a source engine extension which we can bring into Blender with, with a special extension which you need to install. It's quite easy to find but I'm also going to link it. So once you got it in Blender install or at the import source engine.smd find wherever your file is. For my convenience I'm going to put it on the desktop. Desktop, AT rifle, and here it is. That's a Kraber. Now what I want to do is I need the Kraber alone. So we don't need the, the variable scope, we don't need the thread scope, we don't need the basic scope, we don't need that scope that's not even in the game. Now lenses can also get out. Pro screen. Yeah. And skeleton, we are not going to be animating, so skeleton 2. Now I'm going to rotate it into a, a little bit better position. That's uh, here, rotate it. Okay, I'm going to get yeah, somewhat horizontal position, yeah, there we go. And position it somewhere in the center. Alright, now I've got this, we need to start texturing it. For that, we need to go to Texture Paint. Here's our model selected. Here, we need to go to the single image and we need to open the one 
as the color one. Now, which one was the color one? I think it was, yeah, it was the X6. Now, notice you got two windows, so one represents the image of a special grid that's like an origami model folded into the craver. And here's how I start. I just, with an idea in my mind, I want to locate which part is where on the gun. So I just spray it in the 3D and then I see where it pops up in the blender. So I know now that this part is the barrel. Now the barrel is all white, just like I wanted. Let's see where the muzzle brake is. Muzzle brake is down here. As you can see it also spreads out to other parts. So I need to be wary of what's what. And so just like following this procedure, you find out which part is which, where it is. For example, I didn't quite notice where the handle is. Oh yeah, there. There it is, that's the handle. At the bipod, that's the bipod. And yeah, now we just need to spend some time, have an idea, and make a good skin. Yeah, just like that, after some time of work, we've got something that could pass up as a nice skin. Now, we got the textures done. They are already ready on the desktop. And now we need to make them compatible with the tool. So, first thing, we need another version of those with lower resolution. These two are currently 20 by 48 and 24. Blah! It's speaking after such a long time. 2048 by 2048, and we need them to be 1024 by 1024. So, for that, I'm just gonna use my image editor, the Fast Stone. I hear it resize with preserve aspect ratio to 1024. Alright, and now it's gonna ask us to save the file, and I wanna save it as 1024. Save the colored one. There it is, 1024, and that size is 1024. Same with the illumination, so the ILM. Again, here, size 1024. Okay, and I'll save it as illumination 1024. And yeah, that's the two files we are going to need. So now we can put them into the appropriate folders. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it same way, five by five Kraber this time. <clears throat> now inside of this, we're going to need to make two new folders. One for 1024s and one for 2048s. Now remember which ones are which. For example, these ones are, 10, are 2048, so they go to this folder and they go to this folder. Now just remember to, I mean, I just need a backup copy here, but that's for myself, not part of the tutorial. And here, where right now, we need to follow a name pattern to make the tool work. <clears throat> and for some reason, this one's not good check that out later. Yeah, here it is. So in the weapon name, default and call dot DDS. I still need to fix mine, but for now it should be enough. So rename this one Kraber underscore default underscore. This one is the illumination, so ILM. There we go. And the other one, Reba underscore default underscore call. That's in color. Go. I don't know why this one's got a little mistake. Come on. These are capital sensitive, so it needs to be a start with great letter. Same here. Rename it to. <coughs> <laughs> Reba underscore default underscore ILM 
and rename Raver underscore default underscore col. Once we get them like that, now we need to put them into the correct format, which is the DDS. They're currently as PNGs. So that's what we're going to do. For this, I use GIMP, the new image manipulation program. I guess it can quite simply just select and save it as the DDS that we need. Okay, so I'm going to open both of those. Luckily, these these layers use the first level of compression, so you don't have to worry about it. Basically, I need to change the extension from PNG to DDS, and we're good. Export it. It's going to ask for the compression level. Select the DXT one. And now you'll see that we get default PNG and default DDS the same for illumination so export as the dds export it's going to remember your choice of compression so you only need to select it once and export it and there we go we got 1024s as the dss do the same for 2040s close these to avoid confusion Open them here, file, export as, the DDS, export, yes. Same with illumination again, export as, the DDS, export, compression is good. And there we go, we got the DDSs. Now we can safely remove the PNGs and there it is. That's a good folder. I'm just going to put it up here and I'm going to compress it into zip using 7-zip. It's also a popular free program. You can just drag an archive here, compress it to zip. Okay. Yeah, there it is. That's already packaged, now on to using the tool. Now once you download it, you're going to have to specify the path to your game, which is where .exe is, but we're going to walk you through this, so that's what you're going to get. Titanfall 2 skin tool. And when you run it, it starts as Chinese, because it's a Chinese app, you just need to click the rightmost selection and go from Chinese to English. Here you can set and set game path. You need to point the program to wherever your game is locally located. In my case that's the game disk and games origin Titanfall 2 and here Titanfall2.exe. Open and it says that game path set successfully. Now here we need to link the skin file so the zip is Browse it again, so mine is on desktop, and it's 5 by 5 Craver. Select the zip, OK, and just click Import Skin. Successful installation, the skin is now in the game. And that was the first tool. I'm going to show you the second tool, which is the Titanfall 2 DDS tool main. Works in effect, it's the same, only needs. Yeah, only needs. A little bit more work. So here we notice that you need three folders DDS underscore 512, DDS underscore 1024, and DDS underscore 2048, which are again the resolution folders. Make sure they're empty in the first, first just residual textures from previous installs. Now open yours 1024. Now for these two to work, they need to end with the layer name or the shortcut layer name. So col, ilm, this checks out. It's in the correct folder, so it works. Do the same for 1024. Copy this into the 
2024 folder and run. No, no, not yet. You need the Steam Star Pack, PC Stream Star Pack, which is inside the Titanfall 2. Same direction where we were ripping from with Legion. So R2, yeah, R2, packs, Win64, and here a little bit lower is the PC Stream. Here it is. Just copy it and put it in here. One note, this file is 10 gigabytes large, so it's going to take at least a few seconds for it to go through, and it's going to take up some space. So be mindful of that and don't make too many backups. But once you have it here, just double tap the exec and select the rifle or gun you want to install the skin for, we want Crayburn, that's number 13, so input 1.3, enter, it finds the textures, you just click Y as an ES, and bang. The skins are now applied to this star pack that's in the folder. You need to copy it and paste it back into your into your packs. I'm not going to do this because it's gonna take a while and either way my skins are already there. So just remember to paste it back. Once we have that done, the skin is now in the game and we can go check it out. So yeah, let's give it a shot. it. I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!